everyone, it's Allison, and I am here with Sunny. She, she's um, snuggling up next to me. Uh, maybe not the best decision today to wear black because I am also covered in her fur. But she is also one of the reasons that I have decided to share a book haul today. I know. So the reason she is the cause of my book haul today is because this girl uh, was adopted last year and she very quickly showed that she has some anxiety. She's very attached to me. She doesn't like me to leave the house very much. She loves it when I'm here. Um, we are working on that. She's getting a little better, but she does get anxious if I leave for too long. So honestly, I haven't been out and about running errands very often, but yesterday she went to a day-long training. She has these wonderful trainers and occasionally she does get to go and do a, a day-long training, which is really great for her. She gets exposed to new people, gets exposed to dogs. She's not very good around other dogs. So I found myself with some extra time during the day. So I got out and about, I got a haircut, I did some errands, and I stopped at the bookstore and the library, and I got some great books that I wanna share with you today. So let's go on to the book haul. Sunny has laid down here, and I'm sure that she will be rubbing up against me as I talk. We'll, we'll see what she does. So I also got some new books from Book of the Month this month, so I thought I'd throw those in the mix too, since they're part of my overall book haul for the month. I didn't really need any new books this month. Who really does? My TBR is overflowing, but of course, buying books is fun, and I couldn't resist some of these. So, uh, first book from Book of the Month, I decided to get this one from Jojo Moyes, Someone Else's Shoes. Well, I haven't heard a lot about this book, but it sounded kind of intriguing. It's about these two women who accidentally swap gym bags, and they literally end up in each other's shoes. This brings about some changes in each of their lives. So, I don't know a lot about, about this book. I don't know if there's some kind of magical element, or if it's just kind of a story of unexpected friendship, but I'm looking forward to reading it. Sounds kind of lighthearted, kind of funny, so uh, we'll see how we like this one. That's again, Georgia Moyes, Someone Else's Shoes. The next one I got from Book of the Month this month is River Sing Me Home by Eleanor Shearer. Now this has been getting kind of a lot of buzz lately. Um, I'm really looking forward to reading this one. This is a historical fiction novel about the time after the Emancipation Act in 1843, and it's set in Barbados. So this plantation owner told his slaves at the time that this Emancipation Act had passed and they were free, but that didn't mean they were free to leave. They were now to stay on as his apprentices, basically living the same lives. But this is a story of one woman who decides to run and she wants to find her five children who were sold away from her into slavery. So this is about those five children and her uh, quest to find them. So I'm really looking forward to this one. I've heard it's wonderful. That again is River Sing Me Home by Eleanor Shearer. So the next group of books that I have, I went to um, my public library and our Friends of the Library group runs these book sales every now and then. Every few months or so they have these wonderful huge book sales where I just find a ton of books for almost nothing, but it does support the Friends of the Library, which is a great organization that supports our public libraries. But they didn't have one of those this weekend, um, but they do have these little shops that are set up kind of every day with their collection of donated books. So I always find some great stuff there, and I have a whole stack to share with you from uh, the Friends of the Library sales. So the first one that I found is the Winter Sea by Susanna Kearsley. Now, I've heard a lot about this book over the years. Um, a lot of people say it's a great kind of read-alike for people who like Outlander. It is set in Scotland. It's about the Jacobites, set in the 1700s. So I'm not sure if it's got the same kind of magical time travel elements. I think it does, but a lot of people have said that this is a really good one and it's not just a cheap knock off of the Outlander concept. So, so I'm looking forward to this one. I have read her book called The Firebird and I really enjoyed that one as well. So I, I hope that this one will be a good next read from her. Next one that I got is Ordinary Grace by William Kent Kruger. I've heard a lot about him over the years. I actually just recently listened to his short story, The Levy. I had never read any of his books before, but I know that this one is very popular. It's about a teenage boy growing up in the 1960s in Minnesota, and it sounds like he had this one terrible summer where there was a lot of death and a lot of tragedy, and he's looking back on that one summer from decades in the future. I'm looking forward to reading this and seeing if William Kent Kruger is an author that I want to continue to read. I know that a lot of people enjoy him and we'll see how he works out for me. The next one that I got is called The Rest of Us Just Live Here by Patrick Ness. 
Um, now I have heard about this one over the years and the concept of it has always just kind of struck me as really funny and I, I've always wanted to pick it up. So this is about side characters in kind of fantasy, uh, heroic stories, those people that aren't the chosen ones in the stories. And I, I've always thought this was really funny and I just wanted to kind of see what this book was about. My daughter also loves fantasy, so I think that she might enjoy this as well. I have not read Patrick Ness before. I know he has some very popular books. This isn't my typical kind of read, but I think it's something that I might enjoy reading with my daughter. I think that we'll have fun with this one. Next book that I found is called 50 Words for Rain by Asha Lemmy. This is a historical fiction novel about a girl growing up in post-World War II Japan and she goes to live with her grandparents who kind of reject her because she's biracial. They're trying to lighten her skin with these chemical baths. They lock her in the attic. And they apparently have some kind of royal status that they're afraid is endangered by, by their granddaughter. But then she has this half-brother who shows up who kind of becomes an ally and she starts to see a path out of this. So. Um, I'm really looking forward to reading this one. I have, I know that I've heard the name of it before, but I haven't heard a lot about this book. Um, I think it was pretty popular. It was a Good Morning America book club choice, I guess. Um, so we'll see how this one works for me. The next book that I picked up at the library sale is called Sister Stardust by Jane Green. I have not heard much about this book. It does have a little blurb here from Taylor Jenkins Reid. And I think they maybe chose Taylor Jenkins Reid because it, it kind of has that sort of 60s vibe of kind of glamour and music and counterculture and the friendships that happen amidst all of this. So um, again, I don't know a lot about this one, but I am interested in, in seeing what it's about. I do love the cover, so we'll see how that goes. So I also ran into Barnes & Noble. I hadn't been there for a long time. Um, it seems they don't really have many of their sale racks around, which I always used to find some kind of treasures on. They did have a little sale table set up where I found some great things. So um, this one I had never heard of before. It's called Three by Valerie Perrin. And honestly, I think this is the one I'm most excited about in this entire book haul. This is a book in translation, translated from the original French. And it's about three friends who meet when they're 10 years old and quickly become inseparable. And it's kind of told over the decades, but it's told by this fourth person. The relationship of this fourth person, this journalist, to the, the first three is not very clear, but sort of the tipping point of the story here is this body was found in a car in the bottom of the lake decades later. And something's happened over the years that these three inseparable friends are no longer friends. So I think there's a lot going on here. I think there's this close friendship and this mystery tying the story together. So I'm really intrigued by this one. I love a great long book and kind of an epic tale of friendship, so um, I think this will be one of my next reads. Next one that I found on the sale rack at Barnes & Noble is Beartown. Now, I love Beartown. This trilogy by Frederick Bachman is just a must read, and I actually haven't read the third one yet, so I need to pick that one up as well. If you're not familiar with Beartown, I know most people have read it by now, it's about this hockey team in the Swedish town called Beartown, and the whole town kind of revolves around this hockey team. But one night there's this incident at a party involving a, a young girl and the whole town is kind of rocked by what happened. So this is the story of the town and the girl and the hockey team and the repercussions on the town as well. So that again is Bear Town. The last one that I picked up is called Bewilderment by Richard Powers. I was really excited to find this one. I loved Richard Powers' The Overstory. I know that that was not for everyone and I've he actually heard mixed things about this one. But since I loved it so much, I have been looking forward to reading this one. Now this one is about a man named Theo. He's an astrobiologist who, he's widowed, and he's raising his troubled son alone. And he decides to try this experimental neurofeedback treatment to try to help his son regulate his emotions a little better. Apparently this also kind of has similar threads of climate change and future speculative environmental elements as the overstory, but it's told in a more singular story. It's definitely much shorter than the overstory was. I'm hoping that I will love this one as much as the overstory. I'm thinking I probably won't, but still, I did really enjoy Richard Powers' writing style, so uh, I wanted to give this one a try. So that is my book haul for the day, and Sunny has taken a nap over here in her crate. I know some of these are older books, but if you've read any of them, I would love to hear what you think. Also, let me know in the comments, where are your favorite places to do book hauls? I don't do this very often because my shelves and my TBR 
again, are already overflowing, but you know, buying books is, is a fun little hobby too. I would love to hear what you found lately. Also give me a subscribe below and thanks for watching.